Today we're tasting Johnny Walker's limited edition bottles, Song of Ice and Fire. <laughs> oh, stick around. Hey, welcome back Whiskey Questers to another episode of Whiskey Quest. If you're new to the channel, my name's Antonio and in this channel, I get to try whiskeys from around the world. I like to add a drop of water to each one of them just to see if it changes because you'll never know unless you try it. So if you want to learn more about whiskey, you're curious about whiskey, or just in general love whiskey, consider hitting the subscribe button with the bell notification so you can stick around for more videos. And while you're at it, why don't you guys go ahead and give me a thumbs up, it'll really help out the channel. And we can't forget to thank the Whiskey Dude for providing these samples right here. A very generous dude. I'll put the link to his YouTube channel in the description below. Go check him out, give him a subscribe, help him reach his goals too. Both of these whiskeys can be found around 30, between 30 and 40 dollars. They're both NAS whiskeys, none H stated. And all of the Johnny Walkers the, from the core lineup, except for the green one, is bottled at 40%. And these, these, well, they bumped it up a bit. And by a bit, I mean a bit. Sunk of Ice is bottled at 40.2% ABV. And Song of Fire is bottled at 40.8% ABV. I don't know why they just went up by a few decimal points there, but hey, if that's what they think that's gonna make it taste better, then, then let's see, let's find out for ourselves, right? And for those of you that haven't watched the show, spoiler alert, Song of Ice representing the dire wolf that was pretty much in the sigils for the House Stark. And then you got the Song of Fire, which was just representing the, the dragons from Daenerys. And it also represents the love between nephew and aunt. And I mean, not love, like I love you, auntie. No, I mean like, I love you, auntie. I wanna take you to bed and make babies with you. Oh, come on, come on, it's not that bad. It, it could have been his sister, but in Game of Thrones, if it moves, that's all I have to say. <laughs> all right, let's move on to this whiskey's right here. Okay, both of these have color added to them, but just for training purposes, we'll see what's going on. Uh, the Song of Fire does look a little bit darker than the Song of Ice. The Song of Ice looks a little bit more like a like a hay kind of light straw kind of color. This one has a little bit more of that caramel going on, but. I wonder if they did that purposely just to make them look a little different. I don't know. But let's see how it compares on the nose. All right, we'll start off with the Song of Ice. It smells sugary on the nose. There's some fruit notes in there. I'd say like a green apple. It's coming through some vanilla, light vanilla. Hmm. Very light though, very light on the nose. Maybe just uh, uh, some hints of raisins also coming through. Not much oak on this one. Yeah, but pretty, pretty sweet on the nose. Let's see, Song of Fire. Wow, this one's pretty muted. I don't, I'm not really picking up anything on Song of Fire. I mean, if I really focus on there, I don't know, it's weird. I have to say, this is more like a, like a red apple, where this one's more like a green apple. It's maybe like a, like a ripe banana, maybe? Wow, but it's uh, pretty muted. I mean, I got a lot more of the other one. Maybe just a little bit of vanilla, but I'm really trying to pull notes out of this. Yeah, kind of kind of weak on the nose. I like this one a little bit better just because it offered a little bit more. All right, let's move on to the palette. We'll do in order again, the Song of Ice first. Cheers. Mm, okay. Initially, I was starting to get that green apple and then all of a sudden, it transitioned into like a like a vanilla toffee minty in the in the end there a little bit of a nutmeg something like that I do get a little bit on the a nuttiness at the at the finish there a little one more sip yeah it does leave you with a nice oily 
mouthfeel. Some brown sugar, definitely in there. That's pretty tasty. I mean, pretty much what I was getting on the nose, that sweetness, the apple came through. Tiny, tiny hints of char at the very end. This has a, it's a short finish, but maybe moving on to the medium side, but just not quite there, but but very, very tasty. Mm, not too bad, not too bad. Let's move on to the Song of Fire. Yeah, just not much on the nose. Sorry guys, cheers, palate. First impression is very watery, where this one had that oily mouthfeel. This is just watery. It's also weak on the flavors. It's, uh, I mean, there's some caramel in there, little tiny hints of char. For it being the dragon side, I would have expected a little bit of peat flavor in this, but yeah, none, none of that. One more sip. Yeah, I guess there's a, a little bit more oak on the palate on this one. But still not offering as much. Little tiny hints of maybe little hints of pepper, but not that much. I say there's more more char than than anything else and that caramel flavor in there but that's about it i really preferred this one over here it just had a little bit more to offer so my final thoughts on the johnny walker's limited edition song of ice and fire definitely song of ice was the winner of the two it just had a lot more to offer the sweetness that came out it was really really sweet like a dessert even and when i added water to these two this one outshined this one again. It actually tasted a little bit better. It just didn't give you that nice oily mouthfeel, but it did get sweeter on both the palate and the nose. Really good stuff. This one, again, just muted. Didn't really have much to offer. It did, however, bring out a little bit more char in the finish, but it was still really short. And, and, and besides that, that was the only thing that was standing out on my palate. So for that, I think I'm gonna score the Song of Fire. I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a solid 77. It wasn't good, it wasn't bad. And as for the Song of Ice, I think I'm gonna score this one a good 83 out of 100. This one was pretty good. It's good to have, you know, if you can find it for I'd say 35 bucks, that'd be a pretty good deal for this one. And that's it for the review, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, I want to say thank you to Matt for providing these samples right here. Um, I honestly have not been able to find this in my area. So he was able to hook it up so I can try them. And if I see the Song of Ice, I'll definitely pick up a bottle at the right price. Again, you guys know what to do. Hit that like button. Don't forget to share it with your friends. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think of these two whiskeys here. Is that something you guys are going to be looking for? And again, if you've been watching my videos for a while and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button right now with the bell notification so you can stick around for more videos. Cheers, guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Have an awesome day. Take care. Peace.